Don't you want to answer that question, Tom? Do you want to hear what the question is? All right, Tom, here we go. This question is from Mega Mr. 46. Mr. Mega 46 wants to know if you do make the fifth season of Total Drama, will you make it more embarrassing for the contestants? <laughs> hey, Mega Mr. 46. Uh, thanks for your question. We always strive to humiliate our cast of characters as much as possible. So I'm going to say yes. You heard it. More embarrassing for the contestants. Awesome. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Tom, you're not going to believe this, but this next video response is one of my favorites because it blew my mind. This just shows how far and how awesome the Total Drama fans are. Ying Yang Yo, with a bunch of O's at the end, went above and beyond the call of duty in the Animation Nation Army. She animated herself and voiced her character. I'm going to blow your mind. Check this out. Hi, Mila here. First thing, thank you so much for doing this. And uh, I have three questions for you. The first question is, what inspired you to make total drama? Was it a specific reality TV show or was it something else? The second thing is, if you're a Duncan fan, then why stab Duncan and Gwen? Did you change your mind or are you setting up a more dramatic love story? That would be so awesome. And my third question is, the question that will be probably asked by everyone, um, will there be a season five? Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my questions. And Christian, of course, thank you for arranging this. Mila out. Thank you again. You know what, Ying Yang Yo? I think another question you should ask Tom is, could I have a job at Fresh TV? Because that was friggin' awesome! <laughs> you know, I want to share a little story with you, Ying Yang Yo, because it was such a high-end piece of animation that you created. One of the things that we did that was groundbreaking on Total Drama Island and is we, to. sorry, love it, is we uh, cut the first episode down by a whole bunch of minutes because we didn't like the footage and we, we were right about to deliver to Teletoon in Canada and we didn't have enough footage and we were absolutely pulling our hair out, what are we going to do? So we came up with this idea, after the fact, let's create confession cams in an outhouse and just make up lines on the spot, record them, and animate just characters talking in a really predictable ways so that we can rearrange quickly and get it out the door. And we wrote five minutes of new content in a weekend. Wow. And animated it in a couple of days and put it on television. That never happens in television animation. It takes months and months and months, but it worked. And what you're doing is essentially what we did. And I couldn't be more impressed. And I love it. So good for you. Well, Ying Yang Yu brought this up. But we're about to touch on a very, very sensitive topic. It has to do with the love triangle. That is Gwen, that is Duncan, and Courtney. Are you ready for this? Not really, but let's just do it. OK, here we go. This comes from Felina D. I would really want to see some more Duncan and Gwen because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who likes that couple more than Duncan and Courtney. Have you ever thought about pairing up Trent and Courtney? Because it would be really cool. And besides, they would leave Duncan and Gwen alone if they were together. Whew. All right, well, this is actually kind of a long answer, but I think it's worth talking about because I've never seen so many questions about two characters on a show. It's specifically, I think it might be evenly split between Duncan and Courtney and Duncan and Gwen. I could be wrong, but there's a lot of people rooting for both couples. It is kind of evenly split, and they are very passionate about it. About both sides of it, right? 
So I'm going to tell you a little something. When we work with our broadcaster at Teletoon, Athena George Ackless is our production executive. So she's kind of like our babysitter at the network, right? And so she gets a lot of notes on all our scripts and asks us for certain kind of story revisions and stuff because they're really aware of the fact that this show is made primarily for kids and they want to make sure that the messaging matches all around. One of the things they asked really early on was, don't let the romances get too crazy and too romantic because kids go out with other kids, they break up, they fall in love another time. That's just how life is and let's not make some big married for life romance. Actually, Athena might kill me, but breaking them up was a network request. And we kind of thought, well, it's <laughs> Okay. Network request. A network request. And I mean, when I say network request, well, she's our friend too. And she really had, she did a lot of thinking about it. And she said, let's just show what kids are like when they do date. Because most people don't marry the person that they started dating when they were 16. But some do, I guess. So that's the, the quick answer. Having him then go out with when was a writing room decision that I was kind of ambivalent about. I don't know if I really was ready to go one way or the other, but I thought, OK, I mean, it's over, right? So why not? Kicking it fresh out with McGillis. Kicking it fresh 